Well, the weekend is here, and you've got plans to drive around the valley, maybe check out some holiday light displays. Anita joining us with a look at holiday lights from a different point of view. Yeah, this is wild, Anita. I've never even heard of something like this. No, it's an incredible opportunity. We're in Mesa. Take a look at this beauty. A C-47, I'm being told. Um, I know my co-anchor on the weekends, Ty Brennan, would be jealous, and he can probably school me on this type of aircraft because he is very knowledgeable. Uh, if you're not and you want to come out and see it, take a ride. This is a perfect opportunity. This is Mike. What a beauty. She is. She's a gorgeous airplane. Okay, so when does she date back to? She was built in 1943, uh, has extensive combat wow, history in 19... World War II. Okay, tell me about that history. It's so, so she actually flew secret missions for oh. the uh, the OSS, which is the predecessor to the CIA. Oh, my goodness gracious. And we know about a number of the missions, but a lot of them are still classified. Oh, and what are some, what are some of the missions? So she actually carried mules uh, into the mountains in Yugoslavia. Because real mules. Animals. Real mules, and they're, and they're drivers. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're getting a sneak peek inside. You called it 60s chic. That is because um, this was then transformed into a corporate jet. Right, like most of the, uh, well, not a jet, but yeah. Plane, plane, plane. plane. Yeah. plane. Like, most of the, like most of the GIs that came back, it had a second life. And uh, it was converted to a DC-3 and was actually Hoover Vacuum Cleaner Company's corporate airplane for a number of years. And now she has a third life. You can actually purchase a ticket. You can go for a flight to see the Christmas lights around the valley. What a fantastic idea. Right. During December, we like to do night flights. Uh, and we fly down towards Ahwatukee, fly over the valley, and you can see the lights of Phoenix, the Christmas lights. It's really a beautiful ride. So tickets are sold out for tonight. There are some tickets available for tomorrow, the next flight is Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday uh, you can find all of our flights listed on our website, azcaf.org. Click on the Fly With Us link and you'll see all of our flights listed. We're doing night flights every weekend and some Wednesdays uh, through the whole month of December. How many people can board the plane at once? Well, we like can carry plane? up to 12 passengers. 12 passengers. Yes. Okay. And so how much does it cost? So it's $195 per seat. Not bad, not bad. And people, the viewers right now are looking at some images that you guys have shared with us of what it looks like. And, and so you have taken this journey of the, over the valley at night looking at the Christmas lights? Oh, yes. Describe it for those who have not experienced it. So it's like flying over to, in, in, in a jet airliner, except you're only 1,000 feet above the ground. Oh. So you really do see the lights, and you really get a good view of them. And it's the valley is gorgeous at night. It is, especially with all the Christmas lights. Okay, so... If you have, get a little bit of um, seasickness, stomach sickness, and turbulence, you have to worry about any of that on this plane? No, ma'am. Okay. This is this is a nice, comfortable airplane yeah, to fly this in. This is one of those sturdy ones. Okay, give us that website one more time, Mike. AZCAF.org. Click on the Fly With Us link at the top of the page. Okay, you guys, tomorrow night you can take a flight. Isn't this amazing? Wow. I love this. Did you see up here? We have some guys working in the cockpit there, but I think we can maybe show you a yeah, little sneak take peek us of around. that as well. They have a couches in here, you guys. I know. Can it you imagine? Everybody was like, they were all drinking Manhattans, and they had like skinny ties. Oh, and they and, have uh, ashtrays. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, ashtrays. Tell us, yeah, tell us, Mike, what. what this... So these can be these can be turned into beds because oh. they took long flights in them. Oh, oh look at that! I think... Well, you know, there were Nap some time. shenanigans in the '60s, that's for sure. Oh, Troy, <laughs> look at where your mind is in that gutter. Oh, I'm upside down on the plane. She is. Good for you. Wow. Yeah. Huh. I did the math on that. Now, I'm no math genius, but that's a 75-year-old plane. Yeah. They've kept that thing in the air a long time. It's proven itself. Yeah. All it's right. It's proven itself. That's a good way to Thanks, go. Thanks, Anita. That's neat, right? Yeah. Flying back in history and then checking out the Christmas lights.